Right, today we're going to look at the drawing of a figure in the Egyptian style. So we're going to be producing an image in this style, which I've just taken off this picture off the internet. Not drawing the seagull on his head. No doubt he's called Cliff. But there we go. But just want to show you how to reproduce this sort of figure because a lot of people really worry how on earth am I going to draw a person like that there's easy ways of doing it and the easy way of doing it is to break the figure down into basic shapes to start with we've also got to stick to the conventions of the Egyptian art with the torso facing forwards and the head and the legs and feet in profile okay so how do we go about doing it first thing we do is you're going to have a go at drawing yourself to begin with so the first thing that, that we're going to look at is we're going to draw the torso and the torso in its simplest form is a trapezium so we're going to get a shape something like that where you've got the top bit wider than the bottom bit the waist is here the shoulders are here what we can then do is say right we'll go upwards so we'll go and put the head on first of all you've got the neck so the neck to begin with is going to be a rectangle something like that and it's going to be in the center here you might actually find it easy you know to draw a center line coming down there if you wanted to if that helps you we're then going to say right on top of that neck we're going to have a head and roughly it's I'm not looking greatly at proportion, things like that at the minute, but roughly you're going to have an oval on the top, something like that. Notice I'm not being neat and tidy, I'm doing it very lightly to begin with. Let's now look going downwards for the legs. What are the legs? The rectangles. So we can look at one leg roughly coming down here. But what I would do is I'd make the rectangle go a little bit narrower as it gets down to the bottom and we're going to have another leg coming down here roughly something like that at the bottom what have we got we've got a triangle so we can do that there this is the most important bit with the feet the feet have got to be pointing in the same direction we don't want one foot pointing that way and one that way. They've got to point in the same direction and they've got to point in the same direction that the face is looking. So as an example here, we'll just put a nose on there. Face is looking that way. Next bit, the arms. Arms again, rectangles. And what you could do, you could do one rectangle coming down to the joint of the elbow and then do another rectangle at a slightly different angle getting thinner towards the hand and the hand will do as a little box please notice that the top of the arm meets that top corner of the shoulder there I've seen some people before when they've drawn arms they've drawn arms coming out like that and then you've got this big bit here. no 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 let's take it from the top there coming down I'm actually going to bend this arm so it's going to come back on itself as well something like that and then we can put the hand there. You've now got your basic figure drawn now. What you've now got to do is you've got to put the detail in. And what I would like is I'm, we're going to do we're going to do two drawings. One's going to be of yourself, and one's going to be of your icon, someone who you look up to, someone who you worship. Okay, I'm going to stick with doing the one of myself to start with so let's first of all look here you can see here how in this one the neck comes into the chin so we can now start to put the detail on we can start to curve that round and get a bit of a chin shape on there and we can bring the mouth in something like that we've got the nose that's already drawn on for us and then what you'll notice is it, the head so it comes up there before starting to go round there in my case not an awful lot of hair on the top and to start with we can just in fact I'm going to draw the ear here so we can do that 
and then we can look at the shape of the head head tends to come round here obviously we can't see it on this channel because he's got the long hair coming down there but uh, the head will curve round and go back into the neck there we can get the shape of the hair here now as it's me I'm going to give myself the the pharaoh diggers coming down there so we can have that shape coming down there then going back up around the ear and to there where the eye is concerned the Egyptians did have a very particular way in drawing the eye and it's basically a shape something like that which goes to a little curve at the end there and then we can get that shape there and we can get the eyeball in between and then we can draw the they tended to draw, draw quite long eyebrows coming around there it's almost like a little cartoon sort of version we're then going to look at the body now as I've mentioned before the body faces forwards okay so if I'm going to draw myself in my school attire we'll have a little collar coming forwards here and again look how I'm building this up just out of very simple shapes a couple of rectangles going bigger I'll put a tie on because I'm at school never wear a tie out of school well, I'm in school on this one so we'll have the tie coming down here where your shoulders are concerned we don't have it such a sharp corner there so we can round that off round that off going into there and what I'm going to do I'm going to roll my sleeves up because I'm working so roll my sleeves up something like that now as I'm a art teacher I'm going to draw look at the way the hands are drawn here you see the thumb if they're holding something it's like that so what they've got here is we've got the thumb coming up here and then we've got one two three four fingers there get the fingernails on and then we can right I'm being an art teacher let's get a paintbrush in there something like that there we go holding my paintbrush ready for business this side let's curve that round there bring that back down fold my sleeves over another little rectangle there let's get rid of that sharp elbow what else does an art teacher hold right let's have me holding a paint palette so what's going to happen here is we're going to have a woo shape something like that coming around there paint palettes have got a little hole there which the thumb comes through so we can put the thumb through there and then we can put some splodges of paint on something like that so we've got that there as it's me let's have the top pocket on the shirt there with my pens in and stuff like that there we go we can then come down to the legs now the legs again now we're going same way with the face we're looking at it in profile so we're looking at a side view it's, it's crazy how they they combine these different views simply because they couldn't they couldn't draw the feet or the face looking forwards so we get one leg there we get another leg coming across here with the trouser leg there and just make it a little less rigid and the shoes right the shoes don't come to quite a point so I'm going to just put the toe cap on there get the sole on and then we can do that there so what you can see there then is you have got a rough outline of what you look like in the Egyptian style so I'm going to be wanting you to do a sketch of yourself and then I'll also want you to do a sketch of your icon person you look up to from that you're going to choose which one you would like to develop into a final picture and we're also going to put some hieroglyphs in the background okay let's see how you can do have fun